Last time, we created a draw function that runs on a loop and draws a screen. Let's recreate the animation of the box mesh moving up. We'll increment the value of box mesh position y by 0.01. Look at the speed at which the box mush goes up. Is it the same speed as on your computer? It can be similar, or it can be very different. We're iterating over draw at high speed, moving it by 0.01. Because each computer runs the draw function repeatedly at different speeds, differences can occur. This is because some computers run the draw function close to 60 times a second, while others might run it 120 times. There are two computers. One runs the draw function 10 times per second, and the other runs it 5 times per second. I can draw each distance the box has moved like this. This would be the interval between executions of the draw function. This is 0.1 seconds. And that's 0.2 seconds, right? That's 10 and 5 times a second, respectively. We'll call the interval time between executions, delta. What if we let delta be the distance moved in a single execution? If you do that, and then calculate the distance the box move in one second. Computer 1. The distance the box moved is 10 times 0.1, so it's 1. Computer 2. The distance the box moved is 5 times 0.2, so it's 1. So with this delta value, which is the time between executions, you can see that it's possible to get the same movement speed on any computer, right? To calculate the execution interval of the draw function, we'll use the clock provided by 3JS. Declare a constant delta and assign it the value that clock's get delta method returns. I mentioned that delta is the time between executions of the draw function, right? Let's print the delta value on my computer. I'm seeing numbers around 0.007 to 0.009. Some computers may see numbers similar to mine, and others may see numbers around 0.015 to 0.018. The number is in seconds. Typically, this is done with a goal of 60 or 120 repetitions per second, so that's what you'll see. We can see that the faster the iteration rate, the smaller the delta value and the slower the iteration rate, the larger the delta value. This means that if you factor this delta value into the number that determines the movement, it will move at the same speed on any computer, regardless of how often the function repeats. Instead of adding a fixed number of 0.01, let's add delta. It goes up nicely. As if that weren't bad enough, it should now go up at the same rate on each computer. To change the speed, multiply by the desired value. It's faster. If it goes higher than 5, I'll bring it back down to the ground. By applying this delta value, we can ensure that our animation plays at the same speed on all computers. See you next time. This lesson is the basic part of build a first-person view 3D website with 3JS. If you're interested in the full course, check out the link in the video description. And don't worry, you can still learn the basics of 3JS by watching this YouTube playlist without watching the full course.